Give your hair a really good brush through and make sure you get the back. It's really important to have smooth, silky hair to start with because it gets less messy through the process. Always use protective gloves. Okay, so what do I do first? First of all, I've made a protective barrier cream that's for your hairline. Is that okay? Just make sure you get the whole hairline right down to your ears. Before you mix the permanent colour, make sure you've got an old t-shirt and a protective towel. Just pop A into B. Okay. Squeeze it all in. Everything in. Okay, give it a really good shake. Make sure it's really well mixed. Mm -hmm. Take the colour from the front of your hairline back towards your crown. And after a couple of applications, just massage it in to make sure you've got complete coverage. One tip is apply little dots of the permanent colour along your hairline. This will enable you to make sure that you get complete coverage on any of those stubborn greys at the front of your hair. It's never easy colouring the back of your own hair. I found if you start higher on the head and work down towards the nape, it's much easier. Try to envisage taking really small sections. This will give you more even coverage and it will also make sure that the product is all over the head. This uh, deep conditioner that you've used, I specifically made this to really help with fade, so your lovely blonde hair won't fade at all. Oh, great. You look amazing. Thank Ready you. to go.